book is this? The Little Pig. How many little pigs? Three. One, two, three, three. Three. Can you show me three? Three little pigs and the big bat. What? Are you guys going to help me read today? Yes. Okay, let's see. Yes, honey. Alright, here we go. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cozy cottage on the hill. They loved to eat all the delicious food their mother made them every day. They ate so much that it wasn't long before the three little pigs had grown so big that there was no room for them in the cottage anymore. I'm sorry, said their mother. It's time for you to make your own way in the world. I'm going to do your job. So the very next day, the three little pigs left home. Don't forget to watch out for who? The big bad wolf, called their mother as she waved goodbye. He'll eat you for supper, so you'll need to build a big, fine, strong house as quickly as you can to keep him away. Don't worry, Mom, they oinked. We can look after ourselves. And the three little pigs trotted off down the hill, each taking their own It wasn't long before the first, first little pig met a farmer pulling a cart filled with, what is that? Oh. Straw. Please, can I buy some straw to build a house? Asked the little pig. Of course, replied the farmer, but a straw house won't be very strong. But the little pig didn't listen. Soon he was busy stacking the bundles of straw for his new <laughs> yeah, I love new houses. <laughs> our house is made of our school made of bricks. Right, They're is. super strong. I bet he would not blow it down. In no time at all, the house of straw was finished, and the little pig went inside for a nap. He had just shut his eyes when there was a knock at the door. Yeah, that's where the fire goes. I have a chin in my house. 
you do? It's ping pong. So ping pong. Oh, here they come. Let's see what happens. The third little pig had just put a pot of turnips on the fire to boil when he saw his brothers running down the road, closely followed by who? The, the big bad wolf. Quick, he said, hide in here. Yeah, that's the big house. Mm -hmm. The wolf, who was very hungry by now, banged on the sturdy front door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in! He growled. No way! Not on the hair on our chinny chins! Then I'll cry. And I'll pop. And I'll blow. Laughed the wolf. So he huffed. And he puffed. And he puffed and he huffed. But the brick house stood firm. What does firm mean? Do you remember? Firm means strong. Strong. The wolf was furious. Furious means angry. Furious means angry. He climbed up onto the roof and shouted down the chimney. If I can't blow your house down, I'll come down the chimney and gobble you all up. No. <gasps> they have they have fire in the end of burn the big bad wolf. The big bad wolf jumped and landed in a huge splash in the pot of turnips, boiling on the fire below. Ew! He leaped up with a scream and ran out of the house, never to be seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after in the house made of bricks. They were so happy, aren't they? Yeah, because they... Because...